the king of Saudi Arabia, King uh, Salman, uh, has appointed his uh, son, Mohammed bin Salman, the current crown prince, as the prime minister. And uh, basically, he, he is now uh, moved him from a de facto uh, ruler to a uh, de jure, uh, 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 gave him a de jure power, as it were. Um, and this announcement is very uh, important in, on one hand, although it doesn't change much because NBS, as the Crown Prince is uh, generally known, uh, has been running uh, the state uh, given the ill uh, health of his father, who is uh, obviously uh, getting on. He's 86 and he's been unwell. And uh, MBS has been running uh, all the uh, levers of power or uh, wielding all the power, uh, uh, levers of power in Saudi Arabia. And uh, in that sense, uh, it is, uh, you know, uh, moving him up one stage further, preparing him to be the future king for Saudi Arabia. Um, so that is um, important on, on one hand, given the fact that um, you know, that uh, there could be any potential um, uh, dispute within the family or so on. Uh, this is important because uh, the uh, king of Saudi Arabia has actually ceded his dual title of being a king and prime minister, and he has uh, brought uh, MBS uh, close to him as the prime minister. Uh, it's not likely to change any balance of power because, you know, the 37 old, uh, old prince is already seen as, a, as I said, the de facto uh, ruler of the kingdom and he is the heir to the throne. Um, however, uh, one can uh, read from that that uh, the decision, uh, at least from some of the critics of the Saudi government, um, is due to the looming court order deadline uh, that is expected on the 3rd of October next week, uh, where the Biden administration has been asked by a judge to weigh in whether uh, MBS ought to be protected by sovereign immunity in case, uh, uh, in a case that is brought up uh, by the fiancé of Jamal Khashoggi, um, uh, and that is uh, Khadija Jenkins, uh, and this uh, this position basically grants him a, a protection as a world leader and a prime minister. Such protection is normally given to uh, uh, the either a king or a ruler or um, a prime minister or a foreign minister. Um, so um, this has been uh, expected in a way because the uh, the judgment was uh, or the ruling was supposed to take place on 1st of August, where Jean Bates was a district court uh, judge. He agreed to extend the deadline uh, to 3rd of October, giving the Saudi government a chance to make these changes. So basically, he could have been it could have been an advice. Uh, to the king and the crown prince to appoint him as the uh, prime minister to avoid any uh, uh, embarrassment or any uh, court cases uh, uh, against him. Um, this is, uh, as I said, important because um, as he becomes prime, as the MBS becomes the prime minister, he will be able to travel um, uh, technically. Uh, to Saudi, uh, to uh, United States, and to meet heads of states, uh, as it were. Although he has been doing uh, some of that, those trips to Europe, but he hasn't made it to the states yet. Um, and uh, this is also uh, important because it will uh, stop any kind of uh, court cases that can be uh, labeled against him. Obviously, he has denied. Uh, the killing of Jamal Khashoggi, although he takes responsibility, and um, the people who have been involved or the uh, group, uh, or security group that has done that, 
have been uh, sentenced uh, by the Saudi court. Uh, and therefore, from Saudi perspective, uh, uh, the Khashoggi uh, lawsuit is over. Uh, although there are opponents and there are human rights activists who are still um, making a, ca a case against the Crown Prince, which could um, uh, lead into some kind of embarrassment should he travel to the United States or to other uh, countries. Uh, uh, so uh, this announcement is uh, came to basically alleviate any kind of uh, uh, suspicion uh, that this could happen and uh, pave the way uh, to MBS to be the future king of Saudi Arabia after, of course, the death of his father.